a very good morning to all of you. Today I'm going to show how to evaluate line integral of vector field using Mapper software. First of all, <coughs> we will start to clear the previous memory. Okay, and this is actually a click from here where for you to type the text line integral vector field example. It evaluate the work done on a curve which is given by an upper semicircle x squared plus y squared equal to 1 given okay, given the force field is actually fxy is equal to x plus y i plus x j okay, as you know work k w is actually equal to the line integral of vector field which is line integral of f dot dr along the curve c which is given by semicircle x squared plus y squared equal to 1 Okay, if here I'm going to call the vector calculus package, okay, which offer um, offer a few okay, uh, function that can be used here. Because I uh, the calculus here, because I'm going to use I think the dot product to find the uh, f dot dr in order to do the f dot dr before you can doing the integration which give as a work and then the view plots because i'm going to use a view plot to plot the vector view okay for you to have a view so plots okay and then uh, zoom it bigger so they can see clearer so i define the vector view f okay, to define an equations or any expression mixture colon equal Okay, and this is a less than symbol, close it by greater symbol. Okay, this is well, we did one way to be define a vector using the vector calculus okay, package. So okay, component i is actually x plus y, x plus y, component j separate it by comma, okay, which is x, x plus y i plus x j. Also, in mathematic notation, this is another way of notation to define your matrix, uh, your vector two without writing out the i and j. So, it will give you, okay, so in this is a unit vector in uh, uh, x, okay, uh, the capis, um, x coordinate mean of i, this is ey is actually equivalent to our unit vector j in the y axis. This is in the x axis. Okay, calling the field plot, okay, for any function in Maple, you see open, close the bracket. Okay, we are going to plot the, the vector field x plus y, okay, comma x. Uh, I just plot it from x equal to neg negative 2 to 2, y from negative 2 to 2. So it gives you, this is, uh, okay, the directions of your vector field, f. Okay, now I'm going to define the... Uh, because we are going to do the work which is given by f dot dr before you can find dr the curve c you must define it into the vector value function r so for circle the easiest way to get your parametric equations similar to the polar coordinate where x equal to r cos theta but the theta here I change it to t so the r here is the radius of the circle which is 1 so x will be equal to 1 cos t y will be r sin theta or theta change to t so y is r uh, r is 1 so 1 sin t hence k r colon equal okay this less than an equal symbol so x is 1 cos t y uh, component y is 1 sin t so I mean component i is actually equation for x so x equal to cos t, y equal to sin t. Notice this is uh, e x is actually equivalent to the i okay, unit vector, e y is a j unit vector. And then you need to find f dot dr, right? To find the work f dot dr. So after you define the r, you can differentiate to get the dr. Okay, using the diff stand for differentiations of your R, which R is given here, differentiate respect to T. 
So dr and the result of the differentiation, I assign it into a new variable, call it dr. So differentiate cos, you get negative sin t in component dx, or either differentiate sin, you have cos t, dy is actually our j. And then now, we are going to do f dot dr, f dot dr here. F dot dr, we are using the dot product okay, from, uh, command under the vector calculus package. So, here. so calling the dot product, okay, calling the dot product f with the dr, where the f is actually here, already defines already. So f dot dr. Uh, the dot product of f with the dr is and assigned into the variable answer. Later on, cause doing the line integral, we need to substitute x in terms of the parametric equation where x is. So you substitute x is actually cos t, the y is actually sin t. Okay, we substitute these two things into the answer, which is actually the f dot dr. Then we save it into variable answer now so we're calling the work is actually integrate okay to get the integrations you go to the calculus okay, calculus calculus here calculus. okay you have a definite integral so this using this k button so integrate the f dot dr i already keep in the variable answer so calling answer integrate answer respect to t because now is everything after you assign the parametric equation of x and y, your f dot dr will become expression of t. Then you integrate the answer dt. Okay, sin is semicircle, semi semicircle, upper semicircle. So the t will be from 0 to pi. Then you get the answer is 0. Okay, you may press enter line by line or can press this click button to execute the entire worksheet. Okay. So here and uh, or it shows okay, how to do line integral of vector field using maple by using the vector calculus package. It's actually I would, um, I'm going to use a dot product functions here. The view plots okay, package because I just want to plot the vector field for you to view the field plot. Then I define a function under the vector calculus using this way. Okay, this is calling the field plot. It defines a r. The r is just differentiates r respect to t. Calling the dot product okay, of f the r. Okay, after that, substitute substitute okay, the parametric equation of x and y into answer. And then the latest Okay, changes keep into the same variable answer again. In initially, this answer after you substitute x and y, so the latest changes still keep in the same variable answer. Later on, integrate answer. Answer is actually the f dot dr. Okay, f dot dr already, which is already everything in terms of t. So you integrate respect to t. Semicircle, upper semicircle. So the t from zero to i. Okay, with this, okay, thank you for your attentions.